morning so I thought I would vlog today because it's a really big day. <laughs> um, the main thing that's happening today is I'm launching the Kickstarter for Milk and Cookies but that's a bit later on. Um, I'm a bit kind of feeling a bit flaky because I haven't slept very much. <laughs> I had a bit of a last minute flap and had to kind of I don't know, I always think it's not that bad a thing to have a last minute panic and sort everything out so that you're totally happy and prepared and ready. Um, but yeah, and I haven't slept especially well. It's been a really mad 10 days, probably. So, um, so yes, that's happening later on today. Um, and uh, but this morning I'm going to sell some books. I'm gonna bring you along with that as well. I thought I was doing so much today and it's all, out of the ordinary. <laughs> so I thought I would bring you along. Um, yeah, so I am going to sell some books in Cape Le Fern at a farmer's market. So Cape Le Fern is a village just outside of Folkestone. And this is the first, sorry if you can hear the kids, they're playing while I'm getting ready. Um, it's a village just outside of Folkestone. I feel like I don't know how to do any makeup. I'm just staring at myself, honestly. Uh, yeah, so it's a it's a little village, um, and they have this farmers market, and it's the first event. Well, so since all the pandemic, since everything started last March, I have done one event, which was when things kind of loosened up a little bit. It was in October last year, before the second lockdown in the UK, and it was an outdoors thing, so it was all sort of uh, COVID secure and all that. And the weather was horrendous. I did two of the three days. And it was so cold and rainy and windy, it was, it was difficult. So that's the last event I did. This one today, I mean, for a start, it's sunny, but it's, 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 in a, it's inside a village hall, which is amazing. So yeah, I'm very excited about that. So yeah, this is the second event I've done in a year, which is just mad, because normally I'm at least once a month doing something. So I thought I'd bring you along um, to do that and film as much as I can. And so the plan is, that's this morning, that's from, 10 until 12.30, so I'm going to drop the kids off and then go straight off um, because also they want me there a little bit early to get set up obviously and um, to do some paperwork. So I don't know if this is interesting, but I um, I had to get public liability insurance. For those of you who are authors that watch this channel, um, I managed to get um, some reasonably priced liability insurance because um, there's a lot of events that won't um, won't let you have a stall if you don't have public liability insurance. And in the past, I've gone to events where they don't require that, but I thought, you know what, let's let's go all out, let's make sure I can attend everything. So I got my public liability insurance last week, and um, so I've got to show them that, fill in some paperwork, that kind of thing. Um, so that's good, yeah, a new event. And the other thing I really like about this event is it's only two and a half hours. So it feels like that's a nice little in reintroduction into the world of events. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to come back and launch my Kickstarter. The link's below, but I will tell you all a little bit more about it a bit later on. Um, but yeah, do go and check out the link because it, it's live. As you watch this video, it's live because I'm filming this. Oh, what did I just do? I'm filming this the day before. So I'm filming this on Tuesday and it's going to go up on Wednesday. Um, so yeah, you can take a look at that link. I am trying to remember how to make myself look presentable, which after such a break, it feels like a big challenge. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm gonna sort myself out, take the kids. I feel like I just blinked mascara all over my face. I did a bit. Um, take the kids to school and then dive in the car, go and do something and like be out in the world and talk to people and sell books. This is all very exciting. Anyway, I'm waffling now. I will talk to you soon. Feeding the chickens. Breakfast. <laughs> Oh, that is me all done. Um, yeah, it was nice. It was quiet, but it was nice. Um, it's nice to just be doing something again. I know I didn't really film anything in there, but 
I got a bit weirded out by vlogging in public. Um, so yeah, now I sold a couple of bits and as I say, it was the first event since last October and the second event in a year. So yeah, nice to be out. And also I'm really glad to have been distracted um, because I think I would have been just stressing all morning. Finished slightly earlier than I thought. Um, I thought it was a half past 12 finish. It's now five past 12. So I'm going to head home, have a coffee and just to sit, <laughs> just a little sit down um, and get my head together. And then I am going to have another look through everything ready for the launch this afternoon, which I'm trying not to think about too much. Um, but yeah, no, nice to do an event again. So best start driving. Then I've got a new car. It's very, oh. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to head off. I got a new car, so I'm still getting used to this one. I really like it though. Um, yeah, my old one was tired. So, um, exciting. Right, let's go. I am procrastinating as usual. I'll talk to you in a moment. Hey, so it's almost live stream time and I'm, I thought I'd check in with you guys before I hit go on that. <laughs> I'm a bit, uh. So I've been home for a bit, um, for a couple of hours uh, or an hour and a half, something like that. And I had some lunch and just gave myself a bit of brain space. And then I've been doing bits and bobs, tidying up all my books and sorting out everything from the fair this morning, getting prepared for this afternoon, proofreading my Kickstarter. Ah, so I think I'm gonna go live. Here's my setup. I don't know, I'm gonna sit here. Oh, my kitchen cupboard is open. I probably should close that. Right, time to go live. I am quite frankly terrified. I've had very little sleep, I feel pretty tired. But let's do it. Let's let's actually, let's do the thing that I said I was going to do because I've said on Instagram I'm going to do it, so I'd best do it. Right. Cool. Hi, Editing Emma here. I realised as I was going through the footage that I hadn't properly explained all about the Kickstarter campaign. I was just, my head was all over the place yesterday. So I thought I would just briefly interrupt and explain a little bit more. There is a link below if you want to take a look. Um, but the book that this Kickstarter is for is called Milk and Cookies, if you haven't seen me talk about this on this channel before. Milk and Cookies is a children's picture book aimed at ages three to five, which explains what breastfeeding is in a really accessible way. It's written by me and illustrated by a lady called Rhiannon Thomas, and the illustrations are so beautiful. And um, so in this book, the main character, Tilly, goes to visit her aunt and uncle, her mum takes her to see her aunt and uncle, who've just had a baby. And Tilly asks her auntie Grace why she's having such a big cuddle with the baby. And auntie Grace explains what breastfeeding is by using the example of lots of animals and how they feed their babies, because most children have seen animals feeding their babies at the zoo or at a farm or um you know I just think it's something that's a little bit relatable maybe in books they've seen pictures and things like that so I think it's it's a way that children can understand um and it's it's a really sweet book it's it's funny it's I think children will love the storyline um so it's a great book if <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> So it's a great book if a family has got a new baby on the way or a new baby um, in the family, whether it's a new sibling or, you know, a cousin or, um, and it just explains what breastfeeding is. Uh, but it might just be that a little one has got some questions and this is a really nice book to have that conversation. But equally, I just think they're going to love the story. So I'm funding this book using Kickstarter, which means as a community, we can make this book happen. Um, and the aim is to be able to release this book in the summer. Otherwise, um, there would be a huge delay on this. And um, so Kickstarter is a crowdfunding platform. And I really love Kickstarter for a few reasons. So the main thing is that Kickstarter is all or nothing. So if you don't reach the goal, <clears throat> Kickstarter doesn't doesn't charge anybody. I wouldn't really uh, wouldn't receive the funds. Now it might seem like I wouldn't like that, but I do like it because if I don't reach the goal, then I don't have the investment needed to be able to independently publish this book. Um, and so, if that point isn't reached, then then I can't release the book in the summer anyway. And so that. I hope that makes sense, but I just think that, that that actually is a really good thing, that that's the goal that you need, so you need to reach it, and if you don't, then nobody's charged because the project can't go ahead as planned, if that makes sense. So on Kickstarter, you have the option to 
um, back the project, you can put any amount of money in, you can go on there and put a pound. Um, but So you can pledge with no reward and you can put any amount in there or you can choose a tier where you get a reward for your investment. So for example, um, if you pledge £12 and you choose the, the £12 tier, then you receive a paperback and you receive some stickers which are exclusive to Kickstarter backers, nobody else will get those. And you receive a bookmark, the book is signed, um, so yeah, and there are various tiers for the paperback, for the hardback, for different combinations of books. Um, and as I say, equally, there's also an ebook, so you can go on there and just get the ebook. But if the book isn't for you, you can still support the campaign and choose to not receive a reward, which is cool as well. Um, and if any of you would like to back, then obviously I would really, really appreciate it. Um, I mean, if every single person that subscribes to this channel went over and put a pound into the campaign, it would be fully funded. Isn't that amazing? Um, but yeah, if you would like to, um, do head over there. And even if you just want to find out a bit more about it and read the story behind the, um, the book and everything, then click that link below. And I would also really appreciate it. It's a massive help if you can share that around. So if you know somebody who might be interested, please do send them the link. Um, and uh, if you interact with my social media, so liking this video or um, going onto my Instagram, my Facebook or my Twitter and interacting with the posts on there, it's all a huge help with just getting the word out there. So, um, so yeah, I really appreciate your support, but I hope that explains a little bit more of what I'm talking about when I'm saying about this Kickstarter launch. So let's go back to me having launched the Kickstarter. So it's done, it's it's launched, it's out there in the world and I'm slightly terrified. Um, honestly, I couldn't speak on that live. It's on my Instagram if anyone wants to take a look. Um, yeah, I lost the power of speech. I forgot to actually explain what the plot of the book was. You'd think that I didn't know how to be in front of a camera three years into having a YouTube channel, but hey, <laughs> um, but yeah, so I launched it live on Instagram and yeah, it's out there. So I'm gonna go and sit and share it everywhere and try and calm myself. <laughs> right, good. Oh. So I've just put the um, Instagram live onto my IGTV and my hair is really frizzy, it's really annoying. Um, but you know, it's live. You can tell it's live because I look windswept. Um, and I just had a thought while I, so I, first of all, I've changed into my glasses because I am trying to get back into wearing contact lenses. I'm experimenting with them because I'm not really sure if I can wear them anymore because I think I've developed ghost vessels. I don't know, but I'm just trying again. So I've just worn them for a couple of hours. I thought I'd take them out, give my eyes a rest and we'll see if I can reintroduce them or if I am done with contacts. Anyway, um, I just had an idea that while I'm sitting here and doing my social media, I could put some YouTube on the TV. Like this is the thing I've recently discovered is putting YouTube on the big TV instead of watching it on my phone or my laptop. And that seems really decadent while I sit here and do my social media. So that's what I'm gonna do, which feels quite, quite exciting. I've got a drink, I've got my laptop, I've got my phone and I'm gonna hit the socials. I've got to go and get the kids, but uh, I've shared in a few places. I need to share some more. I don't know where the time's gone. It just went so, so fast. Um, but I wasn't, I was like, oh, I'm not going to look at the Kickstarter because I don't want to start sort of obsessing. I'm just going to walk away from it. I'm not going to, but I did look kind of by accident because I was trying to get the link and stuff. But there's two backers, two people backed it already. That's so exciting. Um, yeah. Thanks to those two backers, but oh, this is bonkers. Right, I am gonna go and get my kids. So from the Kickstarter launch, we're now going to bath the chicken. We've got home from the school run and- um, Cause she's got egg bound. Well, not so much egg bound. Well, maybe she's egg bound, but I actually think maybe an egg um, broke on its way out and she's she's just not very well but I, oh, I don't peck me she's um she's getting better so that's really cool but one of the treatments to help relax them is to bath them so we're gonna have a chicken spa aren't we sweetheart hot chicken. <laughs> so it's not hot it's just warm and yeah. soothing isn't it you're a sweet girl so chicken bath time <laughs> So Flappers, how is your spa experience? <laughs> she loves it, it's so weird. 
as you can see, her comb is not quite right on the top of her head. They flop over when they're not feeling 100%. So she is, um, as I say, she's looking a lot brighter. It's definitely helping. So she's going to have her little soothing bath and then we'll pop her back outside. I've just dried her off and put her back outside and she's so much better today. Yesterday she really wasn't wasn't great, but today she does look a lot, lot better. She's not, <clears throat> she's not right, but I'm confident that she's on the mend. Bless her little heart. And I actually think she's trying to work an egg through her system, which is fab. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So the chicken has been bathed. <laughs> the girls are playing, you can probably hear them. So I am going to um, sit and do a little bit more of sharing the link while they, do the thing. By the way, the link will be in the description if you want to take a look. But yeah, that's what I'm going to do now. I thought I was going to have to do the swimming run, but I, I'm off the hook because my husband is going with, he's taken both girls, bless him, he's got the three-year-old with him, um, because she wanted to go. So um, he's done that. I have shared the Kickstarter link to loads of places. I've got a couple more to do, but I need a bit of a brain break. So I'm going to go and walk the dog and then back to the laptop because I may as well take advantage really so um yeah we're getting there it's exciting we are up to over 100 pounds now so that's five percent funded in where well, are we about three hours which is yeah it's exciting so um so that's what I'm gonna do let's go and oh Dolly are you ready for your walk do you want to go walkies should we go walkies yeah Good girl. Well, I am going to sign off. It's been a few hours since I last said anything on here. I think I was saying that I was going to go and walk the dog, which I did. It's now nine. The kids are all in bed. We've just come down. I am shattered. Um, it's been a, a big old day. The first event in ages and the Kickstarter launch and everything. But it all went all right. Uh, the Kickstarter is currently at 10%. Um, so that is very exciting. So as I said earlier, I will leave the link below and all of that stuff, but I am gonna go and probably fall asleep in front of whatever we watch. So I guess you will look forward to that. <laughs> Thank you very much. And uh, please hit like if you enjoyed this video, leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching, take care.